We are Dr. Doe Donuts and we are an online gifting company. We gift in the form of donuts, but we aren't what you would expect from a traditional donut store. So we operate online only. We don't have a storefront. Our customers place their orders online where they select from a wide range of donuts and additional gifts that they can choose from. They select their delivery date and time and then they leave the rest to us. We've both had more than uh, 20 years experience um, in the fast food sector. We worked our way from the ground floor up in that business and it just gave us some great understanding and fundamentals around operations. That was our forte. But we had plenty of experience in other departments. We were originally opening a cafe and we looked at donuts as being a product that we were going to stock. Then we came to the realisation of why just bring in somebody else's product just to sell it for very little margin. So from coming with zero background in pastry or baking, with a lot of marketing and initiative, um, off we went and created the brand name Dr Doe and here we are now. Our business actually evolved by listening to the customer and identifying the way in which they were actually using our product. So we started to realise that people were telling us that they were buying our product to gift to somebody else, which actually is what kicked off um, us noticing that and then providing a product that was suitable for every occasion. So when COVID hit, initially, like everybody else, we didn't really know what to expect. We actually initially thought that we were going to lose everything. So it was quite daunting and scary at the time. But what we then soon realised was that people wanted to stay connected to one another. So people started gifting more and they started sending things because they wanted to share some sort of occasion with a relative or a loved one from afar. Word of mouth is our number one form of marketing. We deliver from as early as 7am, whether that be to parents, to schools, to businesses. And it's that when a mother or a parent takes those donuts to school to celebrate that child's birthday, word just flows from that. For anyone who is looking to start their own business, I would definitely say keep focused on what the long game is. Starting up is easy, but then it's when you get to year one, two or three that you look around and you actually say, well, now what? The next step for us is to, one, continue to increase our product range. The other one is, is to cover the Eastern Seaboard. So our next stop will be Brisbane, um, more than likely, and then wherever we may end up.